Let's Dine Out California is made possible in part by Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands, specializing in cosmetic, holistic, and family dentistry. Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands. PearlyWhitesDDS.com. And Brandon's Diner, serving traditional and original American and Mexican breakfast, lunch, and dinner items since 1997. Family owned and operated with eight locations in the Inland Empire. Brandon's Diner proudly supports the Let's Dine Out show. Brandon'sDiner.com. Hey, welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Dine Out Show. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, the Food Whisperer. And I'm Izzy Bussy, the foodie with an attitude. Tonight we go to two really, um, I would say, quaint restaurants that are not on your typical list of places to go eat. But these are places that you'll pass by but are definitely worth trying. Yes, we're first off to Utaipa, to the Fat Greek. Then we're off to Highland, to the Bistro at Bear Springs Hotel. Two great restaurants, I'm telling you you're going to be in for a real treat. Okay, here we are at the sleepy town of Yukaipa, And uh, this is a restaurant I'm very familiar with. Uh, I've known the owners for about five, six, seven years maybe. And uh, they keep revolving into something different. And uh, the one thing that is accurate is they're Greek, they're from Greece, and the food, they know what they're doing. And it's very authentic. And um, a lot of people think it's just fast food. And I think at the beginning it used to be, but now they've pretty much taken that off. Yeah, and I wouldn't call this fast food. No. It really tastes homemade. And you, there's a drive-through. I don't know how they make drive, you know, go through a drive-through and get some homemade food from scratch. But definitely everything's made from scratch. Right. And these are all family recipes, and they're always recreating, you know, more and more Greek dishes. And uh, they also have salmon dishes that are coming on during Lent, and uh, they have everything, they have vegan, vegetarian, but they also serve beer, wine, a lot of Greek beer, Greek wines, and sodas, Greek sodas, so. Uh, they also offer some uh, craft sodas, which is really unusual. I've never seen see those. those. Yeah. Have you seen those before? I've seen them, you know, in, in certain, like, high-end restaurants, so mm -hmm. this is really unique. Yeah, it's really comfortable in here, very nice, and mm -hmm. uh, let's get right into it. Yeah. So, now they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so we start with a breakfast pita, $10.75. This wonderful creation consisted of diced potatoes, two eggs, diced tomatoes, diced onions, oregano, parsley. It's mixed together. They add Greek seasoning to it. Then they put oil on a flat top and cook it. So it's like an omelet. Then after it's cooked a little bit, then they add gyro meat, which is a 50-50 blend of, meat, of beef and lamb, which I love. They flip it like an omelet and they add uh, feta cheese on top of that. And uh, basically that's it. They add tzatziki when it's plated tzatziki which is a yogurt, dill, and cucumber sauce. It's on a grilled pita. And I'll tell you, this is a wonderful creation. What a way to start the day. I mean, I feel like I'm in Greece. It's so unique. I've never tasted anything no. that's mixed you know, breakfast items with some gyro. And it was just so good, so hearty. It's huge. I think it's a breakfast lunch for me. It's, it's huge. And one thing about the gyro meat sandwiches, they probably have the best gyro sandwich I've ever had. Their Euro sandwich is $10.99, I believe, but people are gonna say, oh, that's a lot. You get over a pound of meat, and it's fantastic. And again, 50-50, so I love that Euro sandwich, but uh, next one came close to it. Mm -hmm. Next came the Greek lemon chicken, $18.99. This consisted of a half chicken, yes, a half a chicken. It's marinated with lemon juice, olive oil, Greek spices. It's baked in the oven with potatoes, lots of lemon over it, and it's plated with, again, with the chicken, with potatoes, kissed with the lemon, it's got uh, lettuce, a whole salad there, basically a Greek salad. It's got um, caramel olives and uh, tomatoes and feta cheese. And I just love, I love the potatoes. That's what my, I mean, the chicken was excellent, but the lemony of the flavor of the potatoes. You love lemon too. I love lemon, but the chicken is so tender, falls off the bone and it's juicy still. And then, of course, with the salad, I mean, it's just with the potatoes and the salad, it's, it's a hearty meal. You went nuts when you had this. this I did. Really, really good. So next came the California Euro. This is $10.95. First, they get the pita, and they put it on the grill. And they also get the uh, sliced Euro meat and put it on the flat top to get it warm. Then they add tzatziki sauce to it. And then seasoned fries, Greek seasoned fries. 
and the Euro meat. Then they had more tzatziki, again, then the avocado, and it's wrapped, and what a creation. And again, these sandwiches are huge. For 10 bucks, you can't beat it. And I think for $4 more, something like that, they'll give you a salad and they'll give you a drink, but uh, this is well worth it. The avocado is falling out. As you bite into it, it's like all the meat just coming out. There's so much, it's overloaded. I mean, it's huge. I don't, to me, I think really, this is a two meal um, pita for me. Next came a real, real authentic Greek dish. This is a Greek lamb chops, $25.99. Now this dish consisted of three lamb chops that were marinated in olive oil, red wine, vinegar, garlic, and rosemary and Greek seasoning. It was put on the flat top first, and then it was put on the grill for about 10 to 12 minutes to get a little, you know, kissed by the fire, a little smoke to it. Then it's served with rice, pita rice, and then it's with, um, let's see, tzatziki, garlic green beans, which with garlic, really, really nice, and butter in it. And then a Greek salad, and again, pita bread, and oh my, I, I'm a big fan of lamb, and um, I know you are too. It's like a presentation piece when it comes out. And then the lamb chops are just full of flavor. It's so marinated, it's juicy, it's really tasty. And there's about 10 to 14 ounces of lamb. They cut it here on the, on the premises here, and they make sure it's real thick. Some places have real thin ones. I don't like thin lamb chops. These are really meaty and very filling. Yeah, it's really tasty. And tender. Scrumptious. Scrumptious, as I say, <laughs> so. That's professional food talk, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And then lastly, the lamb kebab. This is 1849, highly recommend this. This is 14 ounces of Australian lamb. It comes, they slice it to about eight cubes. It's uh, put on a skewer with red and green bell peppers, onions, and then it's placed on the grill, basted with olive oil, and then it's put on the flat top to cook off, and they, they finish it with fresh lemon squeeze. And it comes with a green salad, with tzatziki, rice pilaf, and again, what a dish, and, you know, presentation. In the Inland Empire, we don't have any too many, you know, Greek restaurants. There's one, only one other one, I believe, in Palm Springs that I know of. And, but this is very authentic and really good. Well, I really like how, you know, there's, it's skewered with um, vegetables. And then the lamb's so marinated that it doesn't taste like lamb. So for anybody that's scared to taste, try out lamb, this is definitely the place to try it. And then they grow all their herbs and lemon on premise. So they use it all in their dishes. So you definitely, you know, farm to table, literally. Izzy, I'm now off to the kitchen and we're gonna learn how to make spanakopita, pizza, one of my favorite appetizers, and yum, yum, yum. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. I leave here for hey. one second, or a, a couple of minutes maybe. You've already started, but, okay, well, let's Hi, start you, from here. What, what, did, what do we have in there? Okay, well, I chopped some, I'm making spanakopita. Okay, so, so we got fresh spinach. Fresh spinach, fresh dill chopped up, fresh green onion, and some fresh parsley, and I've added feta in here, some cassetti cheese, shredded. Okay. A little bit of ricotta, and then a little bit of cottage cheese. It helps take a little bit of the sharpness out of the feta. Okay. The egg yolk goes in here. Okay. And then we start mixing. So that combines it, kind of keeps it together? Yeah. Okay. Then we mix it all together. All oh, right, you're using your hands. Yeah, a you gotta use, cook. that's no, the only you, way to do things. That's the only way to cook. So you wanna get, make sure you get a nice, even. Okay texture of everything, get a nice mixture of all the cheese, everything gets blended in I there. I see here you have uh, pastry shells. You don't yes. use, um, is that just any kind of pastry shells? It's uh, puff pastry. Puff pastry, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so, you can, so buy it, that, you can buy it at the store? Anywhere. You can buy it at the store. Okay. Yeah, I just, I, I find it easier. his brother watching and making sure that he's yeah. doing right. Quality control, make sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 so we, we make them so I'm able to put a, a decent amount of spinach in there. So it's a little water? A little, that's the egg wash, a little bit of water oh, with, okay. uh, with the egg. I got you, okay. okay. And then put a nice, good amount of filling in there. Wow. Okay. These are bigger than most. Most spot cookies yeah. are very small. I like to make them nice and big. So, and then I just kind of call the fat green. <laughs> first pinch them a little bit by hand. Then we do a little bit of egg wash on top. That's to brown it, make it yeah, brown it crispy. Go like right that. Just kind of pinch it by fork. Make okay. sure yeah, crimp it down so it doesn't seam out of the thing, make sure it's all stays in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chris, uh, we put them in the oven now for how long? Between 20 to 25 minutes. And what temperature? Just keep at 375. Okay, cool. Kind of keep an eye on Can't them. Can't wait. You know. I've had these so many times here, and they're so delicious, but they're so easy to make at home. That's what I want to tell people. Yeah. So, uh, great. Yeah, they're not very difficult. It's just, it just takes a little time. But stuff, though. Other than that, it's really I, easy to make. I, I've asked your mom and dad many times, but you have an in now because you're the son. Yeah. I want to be adopted. I oh, can okay. be your brother. We can be brothers. Sure. Twin brothers. Yeah. We got kind of, beard. yeah. 
I mean, if I had your hair, it'd be nice. Okay, because the other brother here too. Love, love to have you as part of the family. Cool, you know. And uh, so you'll give me good. So I can make hamburgers. I'm Greek, so I can make hamburgers Absolutely. and fast food. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. That, Absolutely. Only in America. This is great. So, what temperature do you cook at? Uh, 375. For about how many minutes? It's about 20 to 25 minutes. Just so it's, it's brown, basically. Yeah. So it gets nice and nice. You see that nice golden wow. brown color? Okay. So let me uh, look it over. He comes in for the kill. Mm. First thing I taste is the feta cheese. The spinach is cooked nicely. This is really, really good. But the two, it's great, the crust is very crispy. That's what yes. makes it. Yeah, they're all. Um, as a food critic, I'm gonna give you some advice. Yes. You know, Greeks usually open up a hamburger fast food. Yeah. Forget that. Have spondylitis to go. There you Just go. Have nothing but these nothing pies. Nothing but spondylitis. Yeah, I'm telling you, good. really good, so. I don't mind. <laughs> I'll do it all day. Here's to you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna give some to Izzy, too. All right. Wow, this is still just very good. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we're off to Highland at the Bistro at Bear Springs Hotel. Wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. I got something for you. Hold on. Oh, no. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. And here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> there, there. You still got your back. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sabanaki. What is, explain what this is. This is a free... Uh, Sabanaki. Second, yeah, Sabanaki. This is Sarah, you like... You, this is for you. This is my Ooh. gift for you that he did. That's it. Go oh, eat it. Cool. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. And thank you for coming in. Oh, our pleasure. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're here in Highland, and um, this is a really neat uh, restaurant here. It's in a hotel. It's called the Bear Springs Hotel, mm -hmm. and um, it's a boutique hotel. It's not too far from Salmon Well Casino, and what's really neat is they have a shuttle here. It's located at Salmon Well Village, and um, it's a big complex here, but the shuttle can take you to the casino and back, so you can go, you know, have dinner here, relax here, great hotel. They have a full bar here, a nice little lounge, and very nice staff, very friendly staff, and... You know, it's one thing about this this whole restaurant and hotel that I really enjoy is people are smiling and they're happy people. They're, and it's really, I want to work here, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. But uh, the general manager is Jerry uh, Menzo and uh, executive chef Kyle Luke. They're really good people. They really care, a lot of passion. And it really shows that not only the employee, employees here, but also in their food. So let's get right into it. First, we start off with the chicken and biscuits, $14.99. Now, this consisted of two six ounce chicken thighs. And what they do, they marinate it in buttermilk first. Then they season it in a nice little seasoned flour, deep fry for about 10 minutes. Then they get egg, two eggs, and you can have it any style. We had it over easy on the flat top. Then what they do, they get two freshly baked biscuits, really, really good biscuits. Um, and they get the chicken on top of that once it's all fried. And then they add gravy. It's, it's red eye gravy. It's bacon, sausage, coffee grounds, and cream. I mean, you can't get any better. And then they have potatoes. I forgot about diced potatoes with onions and bell peppers. I thought this was spectacular. I mean, I really like how the chicken's battered really thinly, but it's crispy. Oh my gosh, when you bite into it, it's got a good crunch, but then you taste the juiciness of the chicken. And then the biscuit, you got this awesome crust to it. And this, oh my gosh, the gravy. I want a whole bowl of that to add to this. I, I would definitely ask for more gravy. You want enough to bathe yourself in it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's that good. Yeah, I mean, you have a perfect bite. You get the eggs and the chicken and the biscuits and gravy. Holy moly. And for $14.99, it sounds like a lot of money, but I'll tell you, this is worth it. It's huge. You see how big they are? But everything, I mean, literally everything here is made from scratch. So they And again, it tastes like it. And it really definitely, does. So yeah. next came the fried lobster risotto balls, $12.99. This wonderful dish consisted of five panko coated uh, cooked risotto along with mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, as you say, and lobster, and it's deep fried. Then when it comes out, it's nice and crunchy. It's served with a delicious, creamy garlic lemon sauce. Then it's dusted with seasoning, so it's a little spice to it. This is wonderful, and again, very creative. Everything's menu, it's, it's simple, but very creative. The sauce is the highlight, I think, because I love lemon. And, and you love garlic. I love garlic, so it just is like a zing, and then the risotto is soft, and then a crunchy edge, so good. And the lobster is nice and chewy yeah, in Yeah, you just cheesy. like crunch it into it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've never seen anything like yeah. this, so really good. Next came a really delicious salad. This is Jerry, the general manager's favorite, and I don't blame her, this is your favorite too. This is my favorite too. This is a roasted beet goat cheese salad, $12.99. 
This wonderful salad consisted of arugula and lots of it, fresh arugula, pomegranate vinaigrette. It's mixed and served into a salad bowl. Then it's got roasted golden beets, roasted purple beets, lots of goat cheese crumbles, mm -mm. pomegranate seeds, microgreens, a rosemary crisp, and more dressing. Wow, you talk about a healthy dish, something with excitement to it and lots of textures. Well, I love how the microgreens and the arugula and the goat cheese and the beets. So you get sweet and then you got an edge of the arugula. Then you get the crunch of the microgreens and then you get the crunch of the rosemary crisp. Oh my gosh, so good. It was very good. I, what I liked about the arugula is it's got a little nutty uh, nuttiness to it. Yeah, and I like the pop of the pomegranate seeds. I so, totally forgot about that. <laughs> That's a highlight. Oh, the next one, if you're on a diet, if you're going on a diet <laughs> or if you just got off it, I would highly recommend this one. This is a full pound barbecue burger, $18.99. Hold on to your pants. pants. <laughs> this consists of prime ribeye, chuck, and brisket, ground in house. Mm -hmm. It's a little salt and pepper. It's put on a flat top first for a little crispiness on the outside. Then it's put on the grill. A lot of people want to, how can I say it? Well done. Well done, have it rare. The, the only way to have this is so good. Then what they do, it's served on about a 14 ounce um, sourdough bread bowl. They cut it. They put it in butter and they grill it. Um, on top of that <laughs> are two slices of cheddar cheese. Then they add four strips of crispy applewood smoked bacon. Then they add their barbecue sauce. Again, homemade barbecue sauce. Uh, you get two giant onion rings. Again, they do everything here fresh. They top the burger on top of that. Then they add with fries. And I thought this was an incredible burger. I like Quantity, I have to admit. I mean, obviously, I'm. You know, well, it's not just about but quantity. It's really good. It's a quality. Right. I mean, quantity is great, but this, you can taste the quality. Well, I was overwhelmed with the quality. I mean, I've never had a burger this tasty and just enough fat in it, so it wasn't overwhelmingly, you know, some burgers are just blech. This had a lot of flavor to it. Yeah, no mush whatsoever. I, that's my pet peeve. So you get the crispiness of the onion rings, the sweetness, and then you get the saltiness of the bacon. Then you buy into the, we got the, you know, medium rare. Um, so we got the juicy, oh my gosh, you and, taste the meat, and the grilled, quality. And grilled sourdough bread, come Holy on. Holy moly, it was, I think three people can eat off this. Next came the stuffed chicken thighs, $22.99. This is a very signature dish here. This is three three ounce chicken thighs that are boneless. It's pounded thin. It's stuffed with a burrato a mozzarella cheese they make here. Then it's got a blanched asparagus. It's wrapped in, um, it's, it's like a casing, a cofat, it's called pork cofat. It's pan seared for color, and then it's finished off in the oven. And it's served, it's plated with, um, again, spinach, mashed potatoes, fresh everything, uh, lemon garlic sauce, more of that wonderful little garlic mm -hmm. cream sauce, and the stuffed thighs um, garnished with a crispy chicken skin. <sighs> wow. <laughs> it's so unique. Like I've dined all over the world. I've yet tried anything like this. Um, especially the burrata cheese they make here with the chicken. I mean, it's like you cut into it, it oozes out with the cheese. Then you taste the asparagus, this juiciness. Sausage, yes. Oh my gosh, the mashed potatoes, right? Right behind it, it just has this creaminess to it. Uh, it's just full of flavor. I highly recommend just trying this because I've never seen this anywhere else. No. Yeah. And it really works well, so. Mm -hmm. And the last dish, the king of king of steaks. Mm. This is a 14 ounce prime ribeye steak. It's uh, $36.99. It's seasoned and cooked on the grill. So it's got beautiful uh, marks on it and just nice, you know, flame kissed, mm -hmm. really nice. And what they do is they get, um, for the side dish, they have uh, string beans, fresh string beans that they add shallots, it's a little salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce and butter. They mix it around, then they add cubed yams. Mm -hmm. So again, they're blanched, but they're, they're sweet. They're just incredible. And it's plated with the veggies first. And then um, the steak, what they do is they put a herbed compound butter on top of that. And um, I, 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 what a steak. And you know, how can you go bad with a prime ribeye steak? And again, all their steaks are prime, you know, prime cut. So you really can't beat it. And um, very nice dish. Yeah, and the butter oozes, it's like so much flavor. And the veggies, I mean, you can taste the crisp of the green beans and then the sweetness of the yam. So it's a good compliment. I mean, it's full of flavors. You definitely don't need a steak sauce They'd for this. They'd probably kick you out if you had it. For yeah, it. it's so juicy. So yeah, everything here is perfect now. Now we're going to the kitchen, and Chef Luke's going to show us one of the special dishes here. It's a pork tenderloin dish, and I love pork, so I can't wait to go in. Mmm, can't wait. Yum yum, can't mm. wait. 
Okay, Chef Kyle, you're gonna make one of your signature dishes. It's a, a pork tenderloin, but yes. it's not just an ordinary pork tenderloin. This is something people can make at home, but it's a big seller here at the restaurant. Yeah, it's one of our top sellers. Um, we slow roast it, um, so it's nice and tender. Still has a little pinkness to it. Um, it's super moist. Uh, we do it um, in-house. Uh, we brine it for about 12 hours. Wow. Um, to get some nice flavor into it. And then okay. what we do is we sear it to order and then slice it off with a nice okay. pork demi. Okay, well, do your thing. All right. So we start off with a non-stick pan. Okay. And I have extra virgin olive oil. And while that's going, um, we do a uh, maple glazed carrot. Okay. Um, baby carrots. So what we have is uh, these baby carrots that we've uh, blanched ahead of time. So you blanch it so it's just al dente. Pretty cool, a little bit color comes out more. Mm -hmm. We're just going to cook this, add some maple syrup to it. Okay. Reduce it down a little bit. This is 100% Vermont maple syrup. Yum. Good stuff. So we get a nice brown on that. We're going to finish it in the oven. About how long? Uh, just about eight minutes. Okay. Now with Warm pork, it can be a little pink, right? A lot of people. Yes. Yes. Um, the old days. The old days they had really poor diets, so you had to make sure that you cooked them really well. Right. But nowadays they, they raise them right. So, so it's okay to have a little pink. A little pink is fine. Pink is good, folks. Okay. okay then we're gonna take our pork demi glaze, which okay. is our pork stock that we reduced down with some apple juice. Again, yeah. letting the apple be the star of the dish. We're gonna just add a little bit of whole butter there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people at home, they can make a lot of this stuff ahead of time in the refrigerator. Absolutely, freezer. the stocks especially. I like to make them at home and I freeze them off ahead of time. Right. And then you can pull them out as need. Get little ice cube trays and put exactly. them there. And yeah, then, yeah, break yeah. them out as you need it. As you can see this maple syrup's reducing down. Oh yeah. Throw a little butter in there for some richness. Just want to get a nice glaze on them. And same with the demi glaze. We're going to reduce it down by about half this mm -hmm. volume. Our, this is our bourbon apple jam. We've got apples, onions. Some good uh, rye bourbon. Mm. Caramelize them down. Oh, I expect to be real sweet. Yes. Sweet and savory is savory, kind of yeah. going here. The bourbon really helps with the savory element. Mm -hmm. okay, so that's about done here. Pork out of the oven. Okay, so we'll just let this rest for just a moment before we slice it. So that way all the juices get right into it. Yes, that way we don't lose the juice. Yeah, a lot of people make mistakes. They just get it right off the grill or whatever and then cut right into it, it and then all the juices, juices will run will right out. It. Yeah. Right. Okay, so our pork tenderloin is uh, well rested, so we're just gonna slice it into thin pieces. Okay. You can see it still has a about little bit of juice. How many ounces is that? This is an eight ounce cut. Eight center ounces, cut. Okay. One thing about pork tenderloin, it's really nice. It's not much fat on it and a very mm -hmm. little gristle. And yeah, it's much more lean. A lot of protein. Yeah. Okay, so you can see it's still a little pink to it. Mm -hmm. it nice and moist. Again, pink is good. Yes. We're going to plate this with our house-made garlic roasted mashed potatoes. Wow, very nice. Going to add our maple glazed carrots. A few little dollops of our bourbon apple jam. This is our demi-glaze. Ah, beautiful. And then we just garnish it with some crispy apple chips. Wow, very nice. Now, is this just during this season or do you have this year round? This is uh, during this season. We'll switch it every uh, season to match the harvest that we have. Okay, chef, it's a custom. We've got to eat it. <laughs> so, go ahead. I'll take a small. Uh, okay, I guess we'll start with the big one. The end piece here. Try this bite right here. Mm. The apples. Mm. Tender. <laughs> Not supposed to eat with the mouthful. <laughs> Tender, beautiful stock. Very nice. Sweet. This is what really makes it special. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Creamy, very, very good. Thank you. We're both talking with a mouthful. I know. <laughs> All right, Chef, thank you very much. No problem. Now, how do you shake hands? Like this or just We, we do this. Do this. <laughs> Chef Handshake. Thank you so much. This is really good, folks. Wow, uh, he's very, very proud of the pork dish. And uh, not only it looked beautiful, but it was good. A lot of flavor. And again, Chef Luke is really talented. And I was just very impressed with him and his whole crew in the back there. And very clean kitchen. That's the other thing. A lot of people want uh, clean, and this is really spotless. And uh, this is just a real culinary gem. This is a restaurant that I highly recommend. And uh, we both got nice and full on it. I know. And then I love the yucca chips. You forgot, forgot about to that. mention that. Yeah, you get to sit down and get the free yucca chips. Uh, it's kind of a, a Native American, uh, you know, it's of potato chips, the yucca, uh, yucca chips, and uh, 
crispy and made fresh. So, mm -hmm. again, everything's made fresh here. So, ah, two good restaurants and lots of food. So, until next week, food critic Alan Borgen. And Izzy Fussy. Happy eating, everybody. Happy eating. Then they put the pita on the grill to on the grill marks to get uh, grilled again grilled. <laughs> I learned that from you. <laughs> okay. Well, then we had some great food, and now we're off to Highland for the bistro at Bear Springs Resort. Wait, Hotel. wait, 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 wait! I got one more thing. Ah, oh. this is Sayunaki flaming cheese. Watch your eyebrows and your uh, hair. Here we go. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Opa. Opa. <laughs> there we go. Oh. It worked. Yay. Oh, well, live TV. Uh, what do you want? Shall we do it? Uh, yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Round two. Let's Dine Out California is made possible in part by Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands, specializing in cosmetic, holistic, and family dentistry. Tobias Maynard DDS in Redlands. PearlyWhitesDDS.com and Brandon's Diner, serving traditional and original American and Mexican breakfast, lunch, and dinner items since 1997. Family owned and operated with eight locations in the Inland Empire. Brandon's Diner proudly supports the Let's Dine Out show. Brandon'sDiner.com. <laughs>